started off as kind of an inside joke between me and my friends in grad school. We're like, oh, what are you going to do if you, dropped, if you dropped out of school today? You know, what would you do? And for me, I was like, I'm going to open a bakery. Monets kind of grew out, is out of kind of a happy accident of things that were happening in my life. I don't think I ever necessarily wanted to be a chef, and that could have been... My parents were both in the food industry and neither of them wanted me to be. And so it could have just been their influence pushing me into like, go to school, go to school, get a different job. That it never dawned on me that it would be something that I did. But I do, I've always loved to cook as a hobby. I went to grad school and I couldn't find a job. I didn't have a lot of money to open up a food truck. One of my friends works at the Recyclery in Chapel Hill, which is a bicycle recycling center essentially. A bright yellow tricycle showed up. It had my name on and I was like, yes. I went out of town for a week, and when I came back, my, uh, my boyfriend Rob had built the food cargo box onto the back to carry the actual donuts. There was kind of a whimsical component of running a business off of a tricycle, and so, you know, you'd be riding down the street and people would see you. I loved my bell. I had the best bell in the world, and people would honk at me, and I would ring the bell back at them. So this is the tricycle that I started Monuts on. This is actually trike 2.0. The first one I crashed. and. It's also in the garage, but it's in multiple pieces. But this is the new and improved tricycle. It has the same cargo box on the back that we would stack all of our donuts in. And it even opens up to be a little table so that I can sell people donuts and pull them out. And my favorite part about the tricycle was the bell. And that was the original bell from the first trike that I crashed that we were able to salvage and put on the second one. When it came to like actually doing it, certain things had to fall into place. One of them was having a place to make your donuts, because I can't make them out of my house. And then the cookery opened up a block away from my house. I was like, oh, that's convenient for me. Another one was, how do I sell them? And then the tricycle showed up on my doorstep and was like, ah. And so I think certain stars just aligned and it made kind of, the, it minimized the risk. And when I started, it was just kind of temporary. I was going to do it until I found my dream job. When I couldn't find a job, I was like, I'm going to go back to school. So I put in my application and I did get accepted into the program at UNC for economic development. And they offered me full funding. And it, it all came together where I wasn't sure which one I was going to do, either go back to school or start Monuts. But I ended up deciding that Monuts was kind of in the moment. We had a lot of energy that was happening right now. So if I wanted to ever kind of pursue owning my own bakery, now is the time. One day I was actually delivering donuts to a place very near here and I saw the tenants of this used to be Paris Street takeout. It was like a little cafe or grill. Um, they were moving all their stuff out. So I was like, whoa, that's a restaurant. People are moving out of it. Maybe I can just move my stuff in. So I asked for the landlord's name and from there it just kind of organically happened, I guess. When I finished school, my dream job was kind of working in something that um, I was interested in health disparities and job quality, and there's still issues that I'm very interested in and kind of passionate about. When you're running a business, you kind of have to s decide what you stand for and what you're willing to spend your money on. And, and for us, we knew that we wanted to um, pay livable wages for our employees and be able to offer benefits like health insurance, and so that was my number one priority is something that I was willing to pay extra for. It was a crazy jump going from public health, I think, especially to making donuts for a living. <laughs> or one of the things that made it a, an easy choice was knowing that I could keep those issues that I was interested in and kind of incorporate them into the business model. I'm still blown away that this is what happened. You know, like a year and a half ago, I was graduating from grad school, and now I own a bakery. This is what's happening right now. I'm in love with what I'm doing. Um, I don't know that I'll be doing it forever. I think Monets will be here, but I think I want to go to pastry school in Italy. That's my next goal. <laughs>